this first um, principle of color is, for this Quinn. This is Boston. This is Boston. But you do have enough. I was I spent my first what six years in America in Boston. So I mean I'm I've um in the, uh, my first time going back really was um, a couple months ago, man. But I um. I I I was I was raised I was raised up until uh, came to DC what 84, 85, something like that, 85, something like that. This first principal of color for Quincy High sent a letter to parents saying this graffiti made him feel threatened. It was written in a black sharpie on the bathroom stall wall. Students at dismissal described it as racially insulting, childish, cowardly. The superintendent and police call it. Which means a, a, a son, son man yeah. did it. What you doing, Jamal? <laughs> Students at dismissal described it as racially insulting, childish, cowardly. The superintendent and police call it criminal. I bet my bank. I, I knew there was like racist easy. people here, but I didn't think they were like draw. I knew there was racist there, people but... here. I knew there were racist people. No, I've, I've, I've personally never seen one until now. Look how happy that 16. makes him to say that. Yeah, he yeah. loves it. it yo, we it, love that. Yeah. It's taken 16 years to finally show, but the well, reason he just like his mama. The reason um, is white, heavily Asian now. It's like mostly Chinese, Vietnamese. They've taken mm, over that city. Okay, but the reason we 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 love this is because, unfortunately, the, the, it goes against the narrative. The majority of white people don't pay us any fucking attention. Like literally, like even little Bruce, when there's no cameras around, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing to be gained from the average white person, you're like a tree. Like, you know how I tell you, like white people, like for, for us black people, y'all are like trees and fire hydrants. We don't see you when we're walking down the street. It's the same thing with white people. They don't really see us. They don't come, they don't go frequent the same places we frequent. Whenever we go to one of these cities and we look at what the white people are doing, things to do in such and such place. I bet if we do things to do in Boston, I bet the shit is, none of them would be anything that a sun man would ever do in a million years. Thanks. So it's like... Ken Bucks is a sun person or at least a sun glider. Yeah, we don't we don't see... we, we the White people don't, don't acknowledge us and they don't really like, like pay us to any any attention so if we can if one cares enough to even try to like do something bad to us it's like yes white person pay me some attention right you know it's like because this that's why he's so happy man he loves white people he idolizes white people and they never give him the attention that he wants i i knew there was like racist people here but i didn't think they would like draw what they did in there but on the bathroom stall wall. Yeah. Graffiti discovered Thursday in a boy's bathroom stall at Quincy High, racist and targeting the school's first black principal, Keith Ford. It said, <laughs> yikes. Yo. The school's first black principal. So, of course, so this is be because of the bullshit. He, he's probably got this job because... Of diversity and shit like that, blah blah blah. Not saying yeah. he's not qualified, but it's just ironic that they just having their first black, you know, what I'm saying now and shit. Um, 2022. Yeah, I seen a and lot of stuff too, because a lot. It, you'd be surprised how many black people are um, just taking over, like becoming CEOs, becoming presidents of this and see that. Like almost everything is run by a black person now. If you if you when you look yeah, at no it, bullshit. it's, it's weird. weird. Yeah. <laughs> they want a, a white principal. Investigators are now checking cameras around that bathroom. It's something that will absolutely not be tolerated. And if the person is uh, caught, uh, there will be substantial uh, disciplinary consequences. A year ago, students staged a walkout in response to a racist video in circulation. The student body galvanized, demanding more diversity in staffing and curriculum. And it oh, they demanded this. They demanded this. <laughs> so now you got yes. a black president, and now all of y'all are being branded as racist. Because remember, every white person is racist now there. It's not just going to be one white person. This is a racist school. It's a the system. That, yeah, a, the people a that systematic. Quincy, 
Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's the whole system. Everything is racist. So white people unconscious, I mean, unwittingly, y'all don't know, like, y'all all liberals, conservatives, all of you are staying with this. The racist language. I think Mr. Ford's doing a really good job making sure all this stuff gets addressed because in the past, like, when other people were in charge of this stuff, we never really had all of the, I guess, announcements and emails coming out. He made it really clear that, like, anybody that was, like, being racist or, like, wouldn't do anything to help build the community in the school, you were glad to, like, just leave the premises and never come back. Yeah, people who are racist never really did anything people. to build this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They probably built the and building, the school. Imagine, and... imagine if a white principal said that in a black school. Oh, my God. Yikes. He wouldn't. Because he's already walking on eggshells. Um, but yeah, if he if he did, I, I just can't imagine. Sometimes some um, things I can't even imagine. <laughs> imagine if the news ever just asked one of these people, do you think it was it's a hoax? Oh shit. When they find out it's a hoax, he's the they're still gonna apologize. A, a white person from the school is going to still apologize and say, even though this was a hoax, we still need to address this like they do all the time. They still, they still, they, whenever it's a hoax, they never recant. It doesn't matter. Well, it just, well oh, and if girl. it's, if it's a black kid, they won't identify the perpetrator. Yeah. Remember the girl, the volleyball chick, when that was found out um, that it was a hoax, it was still like, yeah, but so what? It, you know, it still, she was still, identifying an ongoing problem. <laughs> it brought attention to what was lying beneath the surface. Um, make sure you hit the PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat. Support your favorite channel, man. We going in, man. Um, Boston. People like that over here. A different bathroom had different racist words earlier this school year. The superintendent says if you know who's doing this, reach out to a trusted adult. Call him. Call police. Reach out to a guidance counselor. Live in Quincy, Rondella Richardson, WCBB. Quincy. Quincy is a racist town. Quincy, Massachusetts. Absolutely. Yep. Damn racist.